Bailey, why are we here today? Um, so the civil service is, is out on strike today, or a number of departments are. Not every department is out on strike. And the reason why we are out on strike is because we are asking for a 10% pay rise, which is still below inflation. Um, and we are also asking to stop overpaying on our pensions. So we've been overpaying on our pensions by at least 2%. So we're asking for that money back, because if we were underpaying on it, they'd certainly be garnishing that from our salaries. So we're asking to stop overpaying on our pensions. Um, and we are also asking um, for no cuts to our kind of redundancy terms. How has the cost of living crisis affected you and your colleagues? It's horrible. It's truly horrible. So I remember when I was working on the ballot in periods and talking to colleagues on the phone, I had colleagues crying to me, just going, I just don't know how I'm going to feed my family. I don't know how I'm going to make my rent. Um, I've, I've got no money to live. And um, it was honestly heartbreaking to hear. Like, on a personal level, I'm worried about money every single day. There's not a day that I don't wake up and worry about money. So I, um, <laughs> I live in my overdraft. I'm not sure how I'm going to make rent sometimes. I'm one crisis away from being homeless. And also, if anything was to happen to my flat, uh, for instance, my landlord decided to sell it, I don't have the money for a deposit for a new flat. There's no, I, I don't know what I would do. There is, I, there is absolutely no cushion left. Um, yeah. So there's no small thing to take a day unpaid? You're no, not, you're not paid no, it's, it's, a really, it's, it, it's a really big thing to take yeah. time off unpaid, um, which I think sort of shows you the level to which we are suffering because there is nobody that wants to lose a day's pay at a time like this. Definitely. Um, there was quite a lot of talk during the pandemic about clapping for civil servants, um, essential workers, etc. Do you, do, you feel, do you feel like an essential worker? Do you feel rewarded? <sighs> Well, I mean, during the pandemic and even really before that and, and after that, we've been in a kind of constant state of crisis. And I know that every single one of my colleagues has killed themselves to keep this country running. Um, we have never worked harder in our lives. Um, and then to be met with one of the lowest pay offers across the whole of the public sector really was just heartbreaking um, and it you know we don't feel appreciated we do feel undervalued and I know that with civil servants it's harder to necessarily know that what we're doing because we work behind the scenes which obviously we we know exactly what nurses are doing they're on the front lines fighting every day and a hundred percent solidarity with nurses who are also out on strike um, you know they, they've done a marvelous and a fantastic job but civil servants also kept this country running um, and we were key workers as well and and yeah, we're not being treated fairly. Um, if you could tell the government one thing, what would it be? You have to pay your workforce. You can't expect us to carry on running the country um, or behind the scenes, you know, making sure things are, are running while we are starving and, and, and while we are like worried about going homeless every five minutes. Um, you, you have to pay your workforce. There is always, people talk about our demands being too expensive, but the truth is there is always money around. It's about what you prioritise, and at the moment, nobody is prioritising us. They're not prioritising public sector workers, and actually we are the people that, you know, save you when you're ill or make sure you are getting your benefits um, when you've suddenly found yourself out of a job. We're, we're the, the kind of backbone of this country. Who are they prioritising? I think that, you know, there is, you can always look to um, times when there's been waste of money. I think, for instance, it's not a secret that um, there are things like PPI contracts. There was, there was money for, for PPI contracts that obviously failed. There are things like that, but there never seems to be money for the workforce.